2004 vitu mob zili happen but kuna vitu mbili mazazi ko very significant to this story na hizo ndio vitu nataka niwaambie one 2004 was the year i was doing my final year in high school 2004 ndio ilikuwa form 4 <laughs> i know fossil watu wa 2001 wananiangalia guy kai <laughs> bado unajua kuna wasi wa 2001 tuko nao job kuzaliwa 2000 anyway sawa so to four eh kuna kitu niliamua niliamua mazee nimekuwa na mchezo sana eh, shule joking for 3 years mazee i was a c and d student from form 1 paka form 3 ah nikaona hapana juu mazee hapa nikianguka hii mtihani sioni kitu kingine ya maana naweza fanya na hii maisha nikaamua tu form 4 wacha niweke mchezo kando nifanye ile kitu imenileta so the entire 2004 I went home twice. Two weeks in April, two weeks in August. Ju waswa kifunga chuo mimi nilikuwa na baki na fanya marimedial nini nini nini. Na ilikuwa mikasaidia. Eh <laughs> sikupita sana but sikuanguka. So that's that's the first thing. The second thing that happened in 2004 on the entertainment front ilikuwa the eh, project by Coca-Cola called Coca-Cola Popstars. So basically Coca-Cola walika chini wakasema wacha tusaidie vijana tusaidie wasanii nini so kuka kuwa na competition kila country uh, east africa kenya uganda tanzania sikuwa sure about the others but i remember those three kenya uganda tanzania so how it was ilikuwa mnaenda mna compete eh, ka audition hivi ilikuwa ma audition audition then the top three wanashikana wanaunda group Uganda ilikuwa na mademu watatu walikuwa naitwa Blue Three eh, akina Cindy Sanyu alikuwa hapo Lilian Babazi alikuwa hapo TZ ilikuwa pia na mademu wawili na boy moja boy anaitwa Langa God rest his soul alituacha Dem anaitwa I think weakness ama ni witness witness na Sha Sha ule wa machaka chachakacha nini I think alikuwa part of the group then Kenya kulikuwa na boy anaitwa Kev na mademu wawili Pam na once and i pay tande who is the subject of our story today hey eh yeah. wow the things you do for love hmm anyway so 2004 ndio imeisha nimemaliza shule nimechukua virago vyangu mimi ni mfanye nini nimekwenda nyumbani naingia mtaa napata bado vibe ya sema iko group ile ile sema sema bado iko kuna hiyo vibe ya coca cola pop stars bado inaendelea nini but juu nilikuwa mazee inje sana ya the entertainment scene at the time sikuwa bado nime nimepelekwa na riang sikuwa kwenye mutaratara vizuri ni nini inaendelea so siku moja mazee tukiwa malap na sister akaniambia ni aje si twende tu cheki beshte yangu tukaenda kwa beshte yake hapo kibich eh dem anaitwa Nancy Adwar So kama umekuwa around for some time na weni mtu unafuata gamziki sana niko sure jina Adwar ina ring a bell. Nancy Adwar also God rest her soul alituacha pia ni younger sister to one Chris Adwar. Chris Adwar ni baba mzee kifika story ya mziki. So tumeenda hivi kwa kina Nancy tunabonga bonga sister anawaambia mzee bu imagine hii kwete hii toast i do story za kina pop stars akina sema Eh mazina sasa ujui sema aje vile wanatesa in fact brother wangu amewaandikia song moja inajita mwewe ukiget okay, time and we blaze so ya yeah, sorry kaisha hapo mi siku nini sana two days later nikakumbuka oh hey kuna song niliambo ni blaze inaitwa mwewe ya sema acha nisikize nione ah, ah pop stars ni kina nani hawa hmm. nikaingia cyber mtu wangu sikumbuki msali mtumie song siko sure So kwa ingia saibu asinkatai pale mwewe nini? So nikacheza. Verse ya kwanza ilikuwa sana ipay tande. Yo. Yo. Ushaisikia tu mapenzi kwa speaker za computer. As in nilisikia hiyo verse ya kwanza nikajiambia guy do wife. Bibi ndio huyo. Straight. <laughs> Straight. Yaani sijui yani siezi siezi explain yani. Sana ipay tande. What? <laughs> Ilikuwa ridiculous. Hiyo time sijamuona. Sauti tu peke yake ndio nimesikia. Nikaenda nika search search nini nikapata picha fulani ya pop stars. Coca-Cola pop stars. Leo sana ipay pale Kev nini pam. Ah, nikaona unda huo nikasema iwe ah huyu. No, huyu huyu ni msichana wa Kibera. Ross safi. Ah, azina na belong kwetu kwangu. Huyu na Fatuni mtafute tuweke kila kitu yake kwa paper bag ya green. Alikuja atufuate nyumbani. Yo, I had a wife. So nikatoka 
nikaenda kwa best yangu jua anaitwa Kevin Ochok. Sijui Kevin ako wapi siku hizi. Nikamuuliza jo eh hawa tu pop stars wanapatikana wapi? Eh kuna mdema kwa hapo ameniza ngua. Akaambia hawa pop stars wana recording wapi? Homeboy Studio. Homeboy zilikuwa the time I think Baricho Road if I'm not wrong. Somewhere there. But me mazena stories za town ilikuwa nje. Sikuwa sikuwa nimetembea tembea mjini sana. Then tukio tuko hiyo conversation boy moja mazena anaitwa Braka kama kasema ah zi ah sasa wako homeboys wako studio flani wako Calif Records kitu ina happen eh, homeboys na Calif Records wako na some sort of exchange program since sana walikuwa under homeboys eh, wame exchange akina sema wameenda eh, Calif Records ku record uh, songs kadhaa huko in turn pia Calif Records wamesukuma msanii mmoja homeboys and i think ilikuwa no nini juu hapo ndio alifanya kiroro na album yake nyingi ilifuata so sasa hiyo kitaka ku get sana ipay tande buda enda california ah nikajua twende california california siwezi potea nilienda nikanunua chocolate ya 625 shillings na just say watu wa 2001 wananiangalia wana 625 wacha nikwambie how difficult it was to raise 625 shillings at the time Mzai alikuwa ga amebarikiwa na pickup fulani alikuwa amegiwa na anko anko ya mind fulani akaambiwa ni aje pickup imelala hapa chukua ukioya zaifanyia kitu sawa so ilikuwa ga mzai ya kwenda enda mawera nayo but after ka wiki mbili akawa na iwezi hii kitu mafuta nini ni expect kuliko fair so afadhali alipetu fair so pickup ilikuwa gatu ya weekend so most of the time nilikuwa ga nayo wapi pale mtaa so kibichi kuka kam kuka kwa na noma ya maji mbaya azin akukua na na, na wode nikajiambia since niko na pickup hapa sinianze kuchotea tu wase wa kibich maji na wa charge so nilienda nikajaza pickup mitungi i think nilikuwa na mitungi ka 20 each mtungi nilikuwa nauza 3 bob so before kazi ianze kuna shopkeeper alikuwa anaitwa mama mariam nilikuwa naenda kwa mama mariam na mkopa so mbili hiyo so mbili nakimbia caltex ya patrick njiru iko hapo kibich place ni to makina nawaambia ni set ye gedea 200 wanapiga so mbili hapo na mitungi zangu naenda mpaka Kibich mwisho place inaitwa 42 huko ndio basi zilikuwa zinageukia kuna wasu walikuwa na uza maji hapo bop i think so also walikuwa na uza maji hapo nilikuwa shule haya ni primary na the younger brother so mi walikuwa wananiona wananiambia ah ni abeli ah, we, we chota tu haina mambo so nilikuwa na get maji free na kam na uza mtungi 3 bob so one trip ya mitungi mbao ilikuwa 60 shillings So for me to raise 600 shillings I needed to make 10 trips za ku raise uh, 600 shillings. Ujasabu so mbili ya mafuta nini nini. So this particular day nilipiga 15 laps. Nimejiandaa asubuhi eh, teke teke eh, nimeambiwa hawa sania wa mkagi mapema so usishinde ukienda enda huko Ngoware. Wewe ingia huko masaza after hizo ndio mataimu wanakuja ga studio nini 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 nikajiambia sawa haina mambo so nikamka fiti mimi nimejiandaa ndani nimepiga pamba nikapiga mguu mpaka place inaitwa Uchumi Hyper Ngong Road toka kibichi hadi Uchumi Hyper ilikuwa place unaweza tembea so nikafika Uchumi Hyper nikaingia pale kwa super nikapata hizo choku nimesahau ilikuwa brand gani ya chocolate but nakumbuka ilikuwa 625 shillings nikaenda nikanunua choku e, nikaangalia pamba nikaona iko sawa nikavuka tu hapo kwa barabara nikapanda gari ya tao ni so ya namba 8 straight mpaka mjini pale ukishaingia tao hiyo barabara inaitwa nini Haile Selassie Avenue kulikuwa na petrol station at the time ilikuwa inaitwa Ajip i think squeeze ni national oil if i'm not wrong so ilikuwa ga mathri ikifika Ajip na kuna wase wengi wanarudi Kibit i need kwenda all the way mpaka railways ilikuwa inafika hapo inasema ni aje gari mwisho watu wa Kibit turudi so i think ili do hiyo siku so mimi nikashukia Ajip Uh, wase wakashuka kila mtu wase wakapanda ika, ikarudi kibich so nikitembea from ajip nikielekea railways huko huko mbele nikaona ni so number 4 imekam teke teke nilikuwa nishapiga ka research nikaambiwa kwenda california unafaa upande gari namba 4 so mimi natembea tu haile selasi ave ni naona ni so inakam eh hey, namba 4 namba 4 waraka raka nini kaona ah clearly god anataka nikuwe na sana ipay hii gari imenifuata mpaka huku nikajitosa ndani nikaingia nisa vizuri sana na tukaanza safari sisi tunaelekea wapi California ye mji wa genge so nikiwa pale niko na ka notebook kangu kadogo natembea ganako na na kabairo niko busy sana nikiandika possible topics zenye unaweza ongelesha msanii najua 
Wewe ndio hapo kumwambia mazee kwetu kumenyesha matatu za kwetu aziishangi mapema. Mm-mm. Lazima ukue na usound intelligent so naandika hapo mazee mada. <laughs> mada M A D A. Wale tulisoma Kiswahili. So mazee niko busy mpaka na play out conversations kwa kichwa mazee eh sana naona hiyo haiwezi. Ah una cancel unaanza kuandika tena. Hii time yote se concentrate kuangalia nje. Believe it or not. Wakati niliinua kichwa nikaangalia nje niliona uchumi hyper Ngong Road ile yenye nimenunua chocolate za 625 ndio hiyo tunaipita ndio hiyo tunaenda wapi Riruta satellite wanye <laughs> hey mtu yangu ndio naulizia eh mzee kwani gari ni wapi ambaye hey, namba 4 ni ya, ni ya Riruta ah blanda jo nafaa kwani kienda California eh hey, ah nikaambia sasa wewe itabidi tu ushuke urudi tao nikadondoka mimi huyo mpaka tao vichochoro vichochoro mpaka stage ya number 4 nikaenda nikapata ah number 4 za Calif ndio hizi teke teke mpaka ndani nikaenda nikafika California nikashuka nikaulizia ulizia jo eh hey, Calif records Calif records nini nini nikaenda nikaonyeshwa maska na hapo sikumbukagi mse mwenye nilipata hapo ni nani lakini kitu ndani yangu inaniambia huyo jamani Mahatma Mahatma niko na wewe mpaka kufa kitu inaniambia gani Mahatma? Sikumbukagi vizuri lakini. So mzee nime hapo na machoku zangu jo nikauliza huyo jamani aje jo na kamkutafuta sana ipe itande. E, nilikuwa na message yake nimetumwa. Eh akaniuliza na nani? Kaambia tu beshte yangu amesikia na kamizi sides akaniambia wana Joana akanipatia ma, ma chocolate nimlete. Alafu nimpatie ujumbe mbili tatu. Mahatma akaniambia eh hey, mzee atujiona sana hii mta for some time lakini najua jua uaga wanaonana sana na sana ipe. Ah jua kali, yuko area, yuko area I think amekimbia show mahali. But unaweza tuachia macho kuu tutafanya nini? Tutampatia. So nikapatia na chocolate na nikaandika ka note mzee nikakafunga vizuri ni aje eh, sana ipe mimi naitwa Abel Mutua na mimi ni kijana fulani mzee nimemaliza shule last year na nasikia umeniacha na mwaka moja but hiyo haijawahi sumbua mtu mi mzee naweza takatu tukutane dakika tano tuongee vitu mbili tatu na nikaacha note hapo na nikaacha chocolate hapo nikaambia wao jamaa mzee mtamfikishia wakaniambia buda utuamini nini wadau sudani hata nilipanda matatu ya town hiyo chocolate ilikuliwa hapo immediately <laughs> wanaume walirarua choko immediately na nikarudi mzee sikuwa isikia jua oh kwa ile note niliacha mpaka namba ya simu ya mzee sikuwa nime get ka phone at the time so nikaacha namba ya mother. So kila time mother alikuwa akitoka job na mwitisha simu, "Eh niaje? E, kuna message umepata kutoka kwa mtu anaitwa sana Ipei Tande?" Anambia haya hapana. Sijaona kitu kama hiyo. Na kana hiyo simu mpaka mother anaenda kudoze. Niki hope tu mzee sana jo. Sana mzee text to bro man. Ikafika point mother akaona huyu kijana ata dead. I think alienda aka concord tuki story akakama kaniambia, "Abel unajua yule sana Ipei Tande wako nimegundua nini?" Ni mtoto wa William Olentimama. <laughs> Unataka jangili kama wewe aonekane na mtoto wa politician. Hiyo si nikutafuta tu risasi. Wacha tunikwambie tu peupe. Wewe na sana ipei tande hakuna mahali mnaenda pamoja. Hiyo I will tell you for free. Kijana wa Kibera na msichana wa politician. You are going nowhere. Na hiyo siku ndio nilivunja mazee dream yangu ya kukutana na sana ipei tande, but nikajiambia one of these days nitamtafuta I don't know what happened it's been 16 years <laughs> Sijawahi tafuta sana ipe tande funny enough I have met many people uh, celebrities in this country I have never been in the same room with an ipe tande Sijui how come hatujai kutana kwa gig hatujai kutana kwa show Why this is Jimbona Yeah and that was me when I was young and stupid man <laughs> Tukutane next week. Hizi stories zitakuwa zinakuja kila week, kila week. Sasa